In today's video, we're going to cover how to add a menu in WordPress. So in the last few videos, we've set up our website, we've gone and added bits into here, we've changed our tag and our headings, and we've included different plugins. And if you missed any of the previous videos, I'll drop links to those all below for you. But we're just going through the process of setting up our website. So we're going to focus on creating our menu. Now, whenever you first start in a website or a blog, most of these headings up here, they will already be populated for you depending upon your theme. So if I go and click on any of these, you'll see that they're all actually blank. So you see, this is blank because this was already done for us. We've got blog, this again, they're all going to be the same. They're all basically, they've all been done for us. So there's two ways that you can do this so the first way is really simple you can go up here and click on customize and click on customize here and then once this loads up and it literally takes about 30 seconds for this to normally load up once this has loaded up we're going to first of all what I'll do is I'll delete the existing one so we're starting from scratch because I don't want you to be watching this and you don't actually have a menu bar on your WordPress so once this is loaded, we're just going to simply scroll down here to where it says menus. I'm going to click on here. Now you can see on here we've got primary menu, which is basically this one up here. So if I click on here, you can see it's currently got the about page, the blog, the services and the contact. So let me just, first of all, let me delete this menu. So we're starting from scratch. So this is just loading up as you can see, and it's just going to get rid of all of this for us. So once once this is loaded, the page is now loaded, I'm going to click on create a new menu. Now on here, you see this header menu, we want header. So if we, if we were to select footer, it would put a menu down here, or along here, or depend, again, depending on your theme, you'd have a menu at the bottom. But you want to be clicking on header menu, and then you click on next. And then you just give this a name. So in this example, I'm just going to call this the top top menu bar. Let's just go with that. And then I'm going to click on next again. As you see, it's just loading up. Now let me just scroll this up to the top for you. So you can see at this moment in time, we don't have one on here. So what we're going to do, we're going to add items to our menu bar up here. So we're going to click on add items here. So these here are the current pages on the blog and these are all pages which have just been, you know, they're just, in, they're just there when I've selected this theme. So depending on whichever theme you've got, you may have more than this, you may have less. So how you go and add any of the pages that you want on here, you simply, you just click on the plus sign here. So it will add this to your menu. Really simple stuff. Now let's say, for argument's sake, if you had a blog or a website, and let's say if you were doing something around like cooking and recipes, obviously you wouldn't want, you know, just one tab up here saying cooking, you'd break this down a lot further. So let's say if you had, um, now let's do weight loss, we'd have one saying weight loss recipes, and then you simply click on add. Then that will add a new page for you. So you've got weight loss recipes. If you want, you know, a fast meal ideas click on add that is going to go on there and then once you're happy with this and you've added in you know whichever ones you want to include you simply come down to the bottom here yeah just check that that's all okay so we're happy with that happy with this yeah so there's nothing else i want to add on here so i'm going to click on publish and then you can see it's added our new items up here now if i was to go on any of these because these are brand new pages what we've just created if i click on here it will go over to a blank page and then obviously over time we'll we'd build this page out here so that's really simple to do now what if you want to do like drop down boxes here so for instance if you had weight loss recipes and then you wanted to add you know more specific items in here well we'll just go back over here and let me just click on let me show you an example of this so if we're going with weight loss recipes i'm going to click on add item and let's just go and say we're going to i'm going to do like um chicken recipes I'm going to click on add so that's been added here and then all you do on this is depending on where you want this to be on your menu up here the drop down so if we were going with weight loss recipes see here I would move it to where I would want it here so like this one here weight loss recipes let me just move that there and then for this to basically become a drop down box you simply click it move it across to the right hand side like this and then click on publish and then watch what happens once this has taken a second to load up whenever i go over there it's going to basically have a drop down box 
see chicken recipes and then you'd have more in here and i've just seen i've got two of these up here but that is how you do this you just literally you drag and drop it and then you just move it across to the right hand side and then you'll get this on here and you can make this as big or as small as you want so that's that one let me go and delete this one let me remove that one so that's that done so this is now our menu across here about services weight loss recipes fast meal ideas etc so that is one way that you can add, add items to your menu bar you simply go onto your website or your blog page and at the top up here you click on customize so you, I, I recommend doing it this way because you can see it and it's all happening on the screen in front of you so you know as you just saw if you had like a duplicate up here or you made an error you can you can make the amends here on the page now if you want to do this another way what you can actually do is you can go into your wordpress back office or your wordpress dashboard and then on the left hand side here you'd scroll down to where it says appearance and then scroll down and go to menus so this here as you can see top menu bar this here is our top menu bar and if you wanted to add any pages on here well you just click on here you can add any of these from here and it works the same way if you wanted to you know if you wanted to put the services into the about us then you just move that across there and this that's basically it it's really simple to do and then once you've made any of these amends you simply click on save so you see i've just i've just moved the services under the about if i go back over here to the blog and i click on refresh services will now appear, will disappear and it will go below the about tab so this is just taking a second to load up I apologize about this. I don't know why it's running so slow today. So hopefully this will be done in a second and then you'll see. So here we go. It's coming up now. So you see about and then it's got our services below. Then we've got our weight loss recipes. And th that is two simple ways of how you add a menu to your WordPress. Now you can also play around with you can have you can have side menus and you can have a menu bar at the bottom down here if you wanted. So if we go up here, we've got as you can see about services, weight loss recipes weight loss recipes with our chicken recipes on here so that's the two different ways that you can do this you can edit it on the home page or you can just simply go over into your dashboard and scroll down to appearance and go to menus and you can play around with this now if you wanted to add a footer a menu to the footer it's pretty much the same way we'll go back over here and scroll down to menus we're going to create a new menu give this a name so we'll just call this the footer Footer menu, click on next, and then we're going to scroll down here. We want this to be the footer menu, so this is where we actually want this to be. And then we're going to click on add items. Now, normally on these footer menus, you know the ones down at the bottom, you would have things down here. You know, you know, like terms of service conditions, depending on you know if you are into like e-commerce or you are doing like you know you are offering services on your blog or your website you'd have things like you know like shipping times and delivery time and all that sort of stuff so I click on here and I'm just going to click on delivery times add this in here I'm going to click on terms of service and you know you'd add, you'd add in your privacy policy and all this sort of stuff so once you're happy with this and you've got you know whatever you want to include on your footer menu you click on publish so once you've done that you're going to scroll down to the bottom and you can see here it's just added our bottom down our bottom our bottom bar down here so this is our footer menu we've also got our main menu up here and look you can play around with these menus until your heart's content you can even include them as a sub a sub menu and many more and look you can see on here menu options automatically add new top level pages to this menu so if you're going to add you know a new page then you can automatically add them to your menu but you really don't need to this is just the two really simple ways that you can add a web a menu to your wordpress website or your wordpress blog and as i've already mentioned i would recommend doing it this way where you're on the home where you're on the home page and you're just using the customized tool here because you can see exactly you know exactly how it's going to look straight away but if you don't want to do that and you want to go via you know the back office here and go in appearance and play around with it like this then you absolutely can do so that is today's video. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave them below. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.